So, the USA basketball 12-man roster for the Olympics was just announced, so I thought I'd react to it. So, the roster is Kevin Durant, Damian Lillard, Bradley Beal, Jason Tatum, Devin Booker, Zach Levine, Kevin Love, Bam Adebayo, Draymond Green, Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, and Jeremy Grant. So, um, a pretty strong roster, obviously not the strongest that the U USA can put out, but still a very, very good team, uh, headlined by KD and Damian Lillard. So, I think, you know, just immediately, they have a very, very good chance to win the gold medal. Uh, definitely the favorites. They've won every gold medal since 2004, which was... Um, a disaster but if we think of a starting lineup maybe I think definitely KD he's the number one option on this team the best player um, and Lillard is probably the second best player so have Lillard at the point KD at small forward or power forward then uh, at center probably Bam he's re the only real center on the roster obviously Draymond and Kevin Love can and probably will play there given the roster construction but uh, have Bam at center and then after that you know probably Tatum at the other forward spot so Katie and Tatum as the two forwards I mean they're similar ish but they can work together both can shoot very well both are good defenders um, so that would work and then at the two you know if you want to go more offense you could put Beal or Booker there or even Zach Levine um, maybe you want to go more defense go with someone like Drew Holiday maybe you want to go bigger maybe put Chris Middleton there, you know, they have lots of different options, but let's just say Drew Holiday, he's more experienced, you need uh, defense, and, you know, I think there's already enough shot creation and scoring ability, that's something that th this team certainly doesn't lack between KD, Lillard, Beal, Tatum, Booker, Levine, Middleton, these are all guys who can get you a bucket and score at will, which is uh, very promising. Um, yeah, so they're really good. If I talk about some concerns, because, you know, we all know they're very good. So let's get to some maybe problems. Uh, the center rotation, you know, Bam, the only real center. And even Bam isn't like a massive center. Not that you need that, especially in the modern day. But, you know, maybe they'd struggle against uh, bigger centers and bigger teams. Um, but with that being said, uh, they still have Draymond. Like, they could play Draymond at the 4 and KD at the 5. And those are three guys who can protect the rim. So um, that would sort of stop that concern. If Bam were to get injured or foul out, though I know the games are shorter. But, you know, something like that were to happen, uh, then it could maybe be a problem. But as I mentioned, Draymond Green and KD can also still play there. But that's sort of a concern. My next concern would probably be the playmaking. I mean, Lillard's a good playmaker. Um, Booker is a decent one. Drew Holiday's a decent one. But, you know, there's no real point guard, no Chris Paul type in this lineup. Um, not like real point guard, but like true point guard, like a pass-first point guard is what I mean because obviously Lillard's a point guard. But uh, no one like that. So um, I, I'm afraid it maybe gets built to ISO. It's, you know, whoever receives the inbound pass just dribbles it up and chucks a three or a mid range. And obviously, the US can still win that way. They have more isolation scoring than probably all the other countries combined. But uh, that could be a problem. Also, like if they get down, like let's see the, say the opposing team is just hitting their threes really well and the US is a bit cold, will it devolve into hero ball a little bit? Um, you know, everyone just trying to get their own shot not really passing not really really playing together that was sort of the problem in 2019 when uh the usa didn't win the uh FIBA world cup so that might be a concern um if i think of other things maybe that you know there's not really a someone who can get their get buckets in the paint consistently um it's a pretty heavy jump shooting team uh the only guy who scores primarily in the paint would probably be Bam. Obviously, there's guys who can attack the rim between Zach Levine and Lillard and KD, but it's more of a jump shot, perimeter-oriented team. Um, so, yeah, if the jump shots aren't falling, then that can be a problem for uh, the U.S. Um, if I th can think of anything else, I mean, apart from that, it's pretty good. Uh, if we think of, like, lineups they can throw out there, I mentioned the starting lineup. If what's their best defensive lineup? 
it's probably a bigger lineup with Bam, Draymond, KD. That's pretty good. Drew Holiday as one of the guards. And then maybe, um, you know, after that, maybe you want to go bigger, put Chris Milton or Jeremy Grant in there. Um, so they can they can certainly go defense, shooting, just no problem at all. Almost everyone can shoot apart from Bam and Draymond. Um, anything else? If we talk about the U.S.'s competition, um, I know there's still qualifiers that have to be done and only like eight nations or so have qualified. But um, if we just go off some of the other teams, I mean, Team Canada, probably in terms of NBA talent, um, is... A competitor to the U.S. between I know Shea and Murray aren't playing, but still have Wiggins, um, R.J. Barrett, Nikhil Alexander Walker, Lou Dort. I think Kelly Olynyk. So you know that's a decent team. Uh, they're coached by Nick Nurse, who is a good coach. Um, though U.S. is coached by Greg Popovich, who is also a good coach. But you know maybe they could give the U.S. some trouble if they're getting able to get stops defensively and then. Get, get out in transition um, if Kelly Olenek is playing very well um, so maybe Team Canada obviously France knocked them out last time in 2019 though it's a different team but um, it depends if Simmons plays but they they also play together they have Patty Mills who seems to go god mode in um, international uh, play also Aaron Baines who you know his form has dropped off they have is Pat Connors an Australian uh, anyways, but Australia have a decent team. Um, France, yeah, I was get I was getting to France. Um, yeah, Rudy Gobert, good rim protector. Evan Fournier is a good player. Frank Nielakina is good defensively and seems to raise his game in international play. Um, uh, Timothy Luau Cabral can give them some shooting, and they have a couple of good Euro League players who can get buckets. I remember in 2019, there's a guy like Nando Nando De Colo. I don't know if he's going to be on the roster again, but he was pretty good. So I would say, yeah, France, Canada, Australia, Spain have been playing together for a while. And, you know, they have the nice ball movement. Rubio, the Gasols, uh, the Hernan Gomez's. Um, yeah, they seem to play together and have been playing together for a while, though it sort of feels like an end of an era for them. Uh, maybe Argentina, the team that upset the U.S. last time they lost in the World Cup. Yeah, so these four teams. Oh, yeah, one more team, Lithuania. Um, they're a team that could hurt the U.S. because they have Sabonis and Valanciunas. So um, they can put some big players up front, which could hurt the U.S. in terms of maybe offensive rebounding. Uh, but they st still have to qualify. So we'll have to see. Is this the best U.S. roster they could put together? No. Is it still good enough to win the Olympics? Yes. And, you know, I think they will, barring a massive upset. But anyways, thanks for watching this video, guys. Leave a like, subscribe to this channel for more NBA content, and I'll see you guys next time.